Welcome to the first edition of the YGAN series. In this video, we will discuss why GAN makes a great solution for motor drive applications. First, we will explain the value of EGAN devices for 48 volt motor drives. Then, we'll review the key applications. And next, we'll review EPC's product portfolio for motor drives. So let's look at the market and discuss where we fit in and where we do not. Our devices target applications where the input voltage is between 24 volts and 150 volts, and typically around the 48 volt range. The key application is brushless DC motors, or BLDC. Typical applications are servo drives, e-bikes and e-scooters, collaborative and low voltage robot and medical robotics, industrial drones, and automotive motors. In these applications, the motor drive is integrated to the motor and miniaturization and low weight is a key differentiation of EGAN devices. Finally, higher battery efficiency is very important for longer battery life. Now let's look at where we don't have a good fit brushed motors, as they are disappearing, and most are driven with a side chopper that does not need speed, therefore there are no good targets for GAN. As for stepper motors, typical for small appliances, this is a domain of the power MOSFET. As for industrial robots and appliances, these applications are generally higher voltage and higher power. This is the domain of high voltage IGBTs. Now you have an idea of what portion of the motor drive market GAN is best suited for. These are the applications and customers we should focus our energy on. The typical input voltage of motors we discussed is 48 volts. This is right in our sweet spot for our 100 volt devices that are targeted for 48 volt applications. EPC offers a full family of 100 volt EGAN FETs with ultra small size and RDS on ranging from 20 milliohms down to 3.1 milliohms. And we also offer an integrated power stage which includes drivers, level shifter, bootstrap, and half bridge FETs. The ePower stage device simplifies design and reduces size. In all topologies with 48 volt input, the highest efficiency comes with using GAN devices. This is why, in comparison to silicon MOSFETs, EGAN transistors improve the key figure of merit, area times on resistance, by five times at 100 volts. That improvement results in smaller size and lower cost, or lower RDS on, in the same size device. Additionally, the figure of merit RDS on times Q gate is also five times better than silicon, resulting in lower switching losses. Finally, zero reverse recovery and less switching losses allow an increase in frequency for high power density. Even though our devices are very small, thermal is not our concern due to the excellent thermal properties of our EGAN die. On the left, you can see that the thermal resistance of, to a PCB is similar between GAN devices and silicon MOSFETs. However, on the right-hand side, we're comparing thermal resistance to case against the absolute best thermal package available for MOSFETs, the direct FET. The EGAN devices are six times better than the best in-class direct FET because EGAN die can dissipate heat through the PCB top and through the lateral sides. This lower thermal resistance results in incredible thermal performance. Here you can see that a tiny four square millimeter die can dissipate six watts with a temperature rise of only 24 degrees centigrade or four degrees C per watt. A lot of additional information on thermal handling can be found on the EPC website, including a complete seminar on thermal designs. For motor drives, size and cost dominate and efficiency is dominated by the motor. Therefore, a key objective for many applications is to drive the most current in as small a volume as possible.
How do these performance characteristics apply to permanent magnet synchronous motors and brushless DC motors, or BLDC? Using EGAN devices enables smaller and lighter motors with lower switching losses. Zero QRR reduces EMI, and because there's no package inductance, you get a very clean waveform, which gives us the ability to use full sine wave filters at the output of the BLDC drives. EGAN devices allow designers to reach higher frequency in the 100 kilohertz plus range. What that enables is ultra low inductance motor operation, higher position accuracy, lower current rip ripple, lower torque ripple, and lower audible noise. The e-mobility served available market, or SAM, for bikes and scooters is huge. 40 million units in 2020. However, this is not all addressable with GAN. EGAN devices will be the best solution for the high-end portion of the market, where it's essential that the motor is very small and very light. Collaborative robots, or cobots, and low-voltage industrial robots are a target application for GAN. One success story in this application is this Ingenia Everest that uses the EPC 2022 the EGAN FETs allow a very small size motor drive that delivers very high efficiency. Ingenia even notes the impact of the GAN devices on their website promotion of this device. The major value of EGAN devices for cobot and low voltage robot motors is small size and low weight. Additionally, low switching losses enable an increase in the switching frequency for higher precision. While high voltage industrial robots are usually based on AC drives at 380 volts, three phase, for these applications, a low voltage operation is preferred because humans are nearby in the range of operation. The value of GAN devices for medical is huge. Precision can save your life using a surgical robot. Additionally, high frequency operation improves the accuracy for diagnostic and display devices. We have a market brief available on the website, the MB005, with more information on this topic. There are some success stories of EGAN devices in medical applications. They include medical robot to perform surgeries, scanning devices like MRI machines, and diagnostic uh, machines like this little colonoscopy pill from CheckCap. A success story for servo drives is Trinamic. Here again, EGAN devices reduce the size and weight and enable higher frequency operation for higher precision. DC servo drives are used for machine tools, packaging, and textile. In DC servo drives, the inverter is integrated to, into the motor, and therefore high precision and miniaturization is key. Additionally, higher frequency operation achievable with EGAN devices reduces EMI and saves equipment costs because EMI cables and winding shields are no longer required. The sweet spot for EGAN devices is 10 volt DC to 150 volt DC at 1 to 2 kilowatt DC inputs. Outside this range, IGBT solutions are generally used. In drone applications, each arm of the drone has a motor, and the motor drives need to be very small to be integrated within the motor in the arm. Industrial drones have on average six motors per drone. EGAN devices allow smaller and lighter drones that have higher battery efficiency and can fly farther. The value for EGAN devices in 48 volt automotive motors is that they can reduce the size and weight of motors, 
by going to higher frequencies, they can reduce audible noise, generate better torque, extend battery life, and yield higher efficiency. EPC offers a full range of 100 volt FETs with RDS on ranging from 20 milliohms to 2.5 milliohms. Gate charge is very small, from 1.7 nanocoulombs to 11.8 nanocoulombs. QGD is also very small for very low switching losses, and QRR is zero. The device area is ultra small, from one millimeter squared to seven millimeter squared. The BGA device, with the exception of the EPC 2051, can nest so that the same layout can accommodate different FETs to allow easy and flexible upgrade for efficiency or load current changes. Comparing EPC's EGAN FETs to major competition for motor drives, one can see that EPC devices have the same RDS on in one-fifth of the die size. For the same RDS on, they offer lower QG and QGD for less switching losses, and the huge advantage of no reverse recovery losses. At low PWM frequencies, for example, 20 kilohertz to 40 kilohertz, EPC devices occupy 30% of the total area versus competitive benchmarks. They do not have any reverse recovery, and they enable minimum dead times. At higher PWM frequencies, for example, 40 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz, EPC's EGAN devices can further shrink the dimensions with new Gen 5 devices. Overall, EGAN devices allow miniaturization. EPC offers a flexible portfolio for motor drive applications. Customers can select discrete FETs, integrated half bridges, or our new integrated power stage. EPC's ePower Stage Digital In and Power Out family simplifies design and will further reduce size. The device is very small, only 10 square millimeters, and integrates drivers, level shifter, half bridge, FETs, and bootstrap. The maximum input voltage is 80 volts, and the maximum current at 100 kilohertz is 15 amps. A reference design for three phase motor drive is available. The part number is EPC 9146, and the application note is on the EPC website. The design is a 400 watt three phase motor drive with 15 amp peak per phase. The efficiency is 98.5% at 100 kilohertz PWM frequency. This is the same reference design we showed earlier for the e-scooter. To sum it up, EPC devices allow smaller, lighter, and more accurate motor drives. Given the same RDS on, EPC EGAN devices are smaller, have lower switching dissipation, have no reverse recovery. The ePower stage digital in and power out family simplifies design and will further reduce size. For additional resources, please see our motor drive web page where you can find additional collateral detailing the benefits of EGAN technology for motor drives. For more detailed information about GAN FETs and ICs and evaluation kits, go to epc-co.com.